Hi guys, hope you're all still well. Ran here from Live Active NI. We're back today with another Tai Chi session. So this is part two. Yeah, we're gonna try and get uh, four parts to this. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, don't worry about it. You can go back and check it out after. You don't need to know the moves to follow along, but it just does help for, for your next home session if you wanna do some. Um, part one, you'll be able to find it at Disability Sport NI and Live Active NI's Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube channels. Um, so you can go back and check it out after. So the first two parts are part of um, a form called Shibashi. So there's 18 moves in total. We had nine the first time, and then we're going to do another, another nine today. So similar to the first workout, we are going to show you some of the moves at the start, some of the more difficult moves, we'll give you a wee practice at them. Um, and then we're going to put all nine moves together and we'll do them one after the other. Remember, all the exercises can be adapted, so you can do it seated or standing, and I'll show you those adoptions as well. So, good to get started. We're going to show you our, our stance first of all. So, just remember, make sure you're in a nice, clear area. I'm outside today, it's a lovely morning, so but you can uh, find a space that's clear uh, and you're comfortable in. If you're standing, we're going to get into our Tai Chi stance, so speed shoulder width apart. Our knees are soft and we're up nice and tall. Arms that long by the side, just nice and relaxed, and shoulders back as well. Um, I want you to imagine then that you've got a book on your head. So if you were to have a book in your head and you were to lean over too much, the book would fall off. So you want to stay up nice and tall. So Tai Chi is really good for improving your posture. So try and stay nice and tall throughout the session if you can. If you're seated then, um, have a nice chair that you can sit on and your feet are flat on the floor. Okay. Don't want you leaning back on the chair, get up nice and tall again, shoulders back, arms by the side, and again the books on top of our head, just to keep that sort of posture in mind. Okay, so that's our our posture and our stance then for, for our moves. Okay guys, so there's a few moves that require a different stance to this, so we're going to show you that stance, it's called the bow stance. Okay, there's three moves in a row here, um, 11, 12 and 13, uh, that we'll use in this bow stance. So we'll show you now briefly. Uh, what we're going to do is to step out at an angle. So for a 45 degree angle, you're going to turn your chest to face over the knee and the toe. Okay, so it brings in line. Um, and basically we're rocking back and forward. So we're shifting the weight forward in the front knee and then shifting the weight into the back leg. And as you do that, lift the front toe. So we're trying to stay tall as well. So keeping the posture in mind, shift the weight forward. And then as we come back, we're lifting the toe. Now as you shift forward, Take a wee look down at your toes. We don't want to overextend the knee. So if you can still see your toes and your knees not blocking them out, then that should be comfortable, okay? So you don't want to go too far over it where your knee is blocking out your toes. So just be careful on that on that way. Okay, so shift them back and forward then. Stay nice and tall. In the chair then. Okay, a couple of ways you can do it. We can sort of turn at that angle a wee bit if you can and just use the hands. Okay, so we'll show you the hands in a minute or two. Or you can actually step out a wee bit at that angle. And instead of shifting the weight forward too much, you can lift the toe a wee bit. You can sort of rock back and forward a tiny bit then. Okay, as you, as you push and pull. Okay. okay, so whatever suits you, you can just do the hands or you can get the feet involved a wee bit in the chair. Okay, just remember, remember keep in mind your posture as well. Okay, so the first one is called scooping the ocean and looking at the sky. So we're in that bow stance, okay, up nice and tall rocking back and forward. As you come forward, I want you to pretend to lift the ball from just above your knee. As you shift the weight back, I'm gonna bring that ball up, stretch, look up, and then as you shift the weight back again, we're gonna grab the ball and stretch. So weight comes forward, lift the ball just above your knee, breathe in as you lift that ball up towards the sky, and then come back down nice and slow and controlled. So that's the first few one. Now we spoke about mobility in that in the, in the first uh, part, okay? If you're not comfortable reaching right up, that's perfect, just go to wherever it's comfortable, okay? If you can only reach your hands up to a certain point, okay, before there's pain, just go to that point. Don't try and force through any pain, okay? So do whatever, whatever suits you. Okay, so we're gonna be doing both those moves on each side. The next one then is called pushing the waves. This is sort of simpler one. So same position, hands up at the chest. You're gonna push the hands out as you shift the weight forward. Turn the palms towards the ground as you pull and shift the weight back. So push and pull, okay? 
breathing in this one, you're going to breathe in on the way back, breathe out on the way forward. Careful not to extend the arms right out, so keep a slight bend at the elbows and maintain that posture then as well. And again, we'll do both those at each side, okay? The next one, a wee bit more movement this one, we'll go back to the other side, it's called the dove spreading its wings. So, we're going to shift the weight forward, palms are coming in towards each other and then as you shift the weight back lift the toe palms are coming in towards you widen the hands out and the arms out breathing in and out inhale and exhale again we look down at the toes just to make sure you're not overextending yes yeah, so one more inhale and exhale. Alright, again, we'll do that both sides. In terms of your breathing, just try and breathe naturally. So, some people like to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Others like to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Um, if you're holding that breath a wee bit longer, just try and do a big deep breath. So, inhale for around about three seconds, and we hold for a second, and exhale for the three seconds again. Okay? Um, so it's really good for your relaxation and that. So try and focus on your breathing. Whenever you get into the way of the movement and you're getting it in, there's no problem. You're doing the, the movement with ease. Really try and focus on your breathing then. Okay? That's the three in a bow stance. There's one more at the end, towards the end. The second last one is called stepping and bouncing the ball. And it's a bit more challenging, so working on balance a wee bit. Okay? So what do you to imagine? You have a piece of string in one hand and it's connected to the opposite knee so my right hand to my left knee okay if you raise your hand up the string is going to pull the knee up and then as you come back down with the hand the foot's going to come to the floor and then we change over to the other side so working on the balance a wee bit this hand so raising the hand up the knee comes with it and then changing same thing hand comes up knee comes up as well so this is called stepping and bouncing the ball Okay, so you can try and relax the hands, raise the knuckles up, and then push the palms down. Now in terms of the, um, the, the feet, okay, if you're not comfortable standing one leg for too long, just do a wee small step and back down. Okay, the higher you go with the knee, the more challenging it is. You can also just lift the heel off the floor if you're not comfortable. Okay, coming up and down, heel is fine, all right, in the chair for that one, again you just focus on the hands, up and down one at a time, or you can lift the hand and the knee slightly off the floor, whatever suits you, okay, so there are four moves that we'll focus on. We'll focus on a wee bit longer. We'll, we'll pick them up in the in the exercise in the routine. Um, so as I said, there's nine exercises all together. Uh, the rest of them you should pick up no problem. Okay. Um, we started off the last one with lotus leaves floating in the breeze, so we're pushing out and then in. So that was the ninth exercise. Okay. So from there then we're going to go into hands like clouds, we have hands like clouds. So feet there again, shoulder width apart, we're going to focus on transferring the weight from side to side, okay, bend in one knee and then shift in the other. So I want you to shift the weight over to one side, have the top hand up, you're focusing on the palm, the other hand just nice and relaxed and around your tummy area, you're going to shift the weight across as you bring that hand over and then change, shift the weight slowly. Breathing in and out. Feel the weight transfer in the legs. Wait for building up the strength in the lower body. And once we're into the swing out, focus on the breathing. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Stepping into our bow stance. 
I guess scooping and look, scooping the, the ocean and looking at the sky. So shifting the weight forward, lifting the ball, breathing in as we stretch, lift that front toe, reach, come back to the ball. Inhale and exhale. One. Bring that foot back in, change to the other side. Again, turn the chest, face over the knee. Shift the weight forward. Breathe in. And that's it. In, chains to the other side, push the waves, hands up to the chest, as you press out the weight shifts forward, turn the palms to the floor, pull the hands back in as we lift the toe. Stay nice and tall, inhale, and exhale. Put in as well, chains to the other side. Swing up one nice, smooth, slow, smooth movement. Don't try and rush through the moves. Almost the slower the better for developing the strength. In, change over again. The dog spreading the swing. So as you shift the weight forward and bend that front knee, hands come round and in as you shift the weight back and lift the toe. Reach out with the arms. Inhale. And exhale. Back to our normal Tai Chi stance, so feet shoulder width apart, chest facing forward. I want you to make two fists, just have them relaxed, arms nice and long and relaxed at your hips, your legs, tops and legs. This one's dragging coming out of the ocean. So this is a punch, okay? Our knees are soft, they're up tall. We'll punch them with one hand out in front and then back in. And then we chain to the other side. So punching out in line with the shoulder. We're turning the knuckles from the floor to the sky and then back to the floor. Just have a nice relaxed fist. Be careful not to lock out the arms. And we're breathing in on the way back, breathing out as you punch. Last time. Okay, we're still in this position. Okay, feet shoulder width apart or seated 
up nice and tall. Next move is flying wild geese. So hands just come to the side. I'm gonna raise the hands up and down. Breathing in and out. Hands come up to about shoulder height or to wherever's comfortable. Last one. Okay, next one, windmill, windmill turning in the breeze. So we're gonna reach down to whoever's comfortable. We're gonna make a big circle with the hands and the torso. Come up nice and slow and controlled. Again, reach to wherever's comfortable. Breathing in and out. I'm going to change direction. Relax the hands. We're in the chair. Same thing if we can. Come up to wherever's comfortable with the hands. Last time. And relax. Last two, stepping and bouncing the ball. So remember the ball or knee, or the thigh is on a piece of string controlled by the opposite hand. We're gonna raise the opposite hand and knee up to wherever is comfortable. So we can lift the heel off the floor. We can raise the knee up a tiny bit. Or if you want an extra challenge, hand up and down. So go to wherever is comfortable. Don't try and force through anything that's maybe unnatural or making you unsteady. Breathing in. And out. Last time. The last one then. Gather the fragrance of the earth. So we're going to pretend we're going to ball our hips. We're going to breathe in. We raise that ball up towards the chest. Breathe out as you push the hands down to about the tummy. Bend those knees, breathe in, gather the ball. On the way down, breathe out, bend the knees again and stop with the belly button push up. on the inhale through the nose and exhale either through the nose or through the mouth whatever is comfortable so the palms of your hands are facing each other and then we're going to gradually open the hands up away as we breathe in and close as we breathe out the angle of that open and close. You might feel the energy and the chi in between your palms. And then just roll 
Pull your hands around the ball. Continue with your breathe. And relax. Well done, guys. So that's another nine moves done. So you can spend as much time as you want on each of those moves. So some of them will be through a wee bit quicker. Okay. Once you get the hang of it and you've already learned the moves, you'll go and be talking in the background. Put some nice uh, relaxing music on uh, and just focus on your breathing and moving through the moves nice and smoothly and slowly. Okay. You can also combine uh, video one and video two. You can do a nice long form if you want, okay? 18 moves in total, okay? And they all flow from one to the other. Uh, so you'll find that video at our uh, Live Active and Disability Sport and Eyes homepage, our uh, YouTube pages, our social media pages as well, Facebook and, and YouTube. And keep an eye out for another couple of Tai Chi videos and also our uh, low intensity workouts, our chair based workouts our moderate intensity workouts as well as family workouts so there's lots of stuff up there um, and we'll continue to add stuff to that uh, to those channels and um, so keep an eye out for them and try to stay active and stay at home and we'll see you all again <laughs>